welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome back to Scent Sunday. Today's gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna be talking all about perfume subscription services and the ones I've tried, what I think about them, pros, cons, everything. I'm going kind of in depth to strap in, honestly. <laughs> like I'm preparing you now. There will also be timestamps down below so you can get to where you wanna go. I've tried a fair share of them. I definitely, when I was getting into perfume more at the beginning, like I was ravenous, okay? Like I <laughs> wanted to try everything. All of the popular perfumes that everyone was talking about, especially in the niche categories, I wanted to know. I wanna know what Love by Killian smells like. I wanna know what Delina smells like. I wanna know what Baccarat Rouge smells like. And so I was on the search to find perfume subscriptions that could kind of help me do that. And so I tried out my fair share with them. Now, when I'm looking for a subscription now, and I'll try to let you guys know this as I go through, there's a few things. You might have different things you're looking for in a subscription service, but for me, things that I find important, I want the price to be decent as in I'm actually saving money doing this as opposed to if I just bought travel sprays of stuff. There are a lot of perfumes, especially in the designer world where you could just buy the travel size for 30 bucks. And depending on where you buy like a decant, which usually the decants that I'm talking about look like this and they're eight mil a product, whereas you get 10 mil usually in a travel spray. If this somehow retails for 30 and you could get that for 30, like I'm aware of that price wise, you know, for me, as well as price when it comes to other things, but I'll get into specifics as we go through. But I also really like the idea of sampling and testing and just getting acquainted with new perfumes Maybe things I would never think to smell in store can't really smell in store that type of stuff That was also something I was really on the search for and why I've signed up to so many so we're gonna get into it Let's just start. I'm gonna talk about pricing um, I will try my best to to answer any questions down below that I can especially when I put this video out like closer to that But yeah, let's get into it. We're gonna start with Scentbird. No, this video is not sponsored by Scentbird Not saying I would never do a video sponsor by Scentbird, but just so you guys know, this one isn't. I've been getting Scentbird um, in this realm. Like I've gotten it in the past, in the past, like a long, long time ago, but I've basically been subscribed to Scentbird since like August of last year. And I do the subscription where I get two vials a month. I feel like Scentbird is probably one of the most well-known of the scent subscription boxes because it is highly advertised on social media platforms such as YouTube and other ones out there. And I do think that they've kind of upped their game a bit I'll talk about that, but first let's talk about pricing. Scentbird has recently upped their prices. So if you decide to pick out one cent a month, it is $16.95. If you do two cents a month, which is what I do, I ended up paying $27.37. I think that's with taxes. And I'm trying to remember if that's like the old price or the new price. The thing with Scentbird, one of the cons, we're already getting into it, is that they don't really let you know what you're paying. Like I cannot find anywhere besides the actual charge I get on my account where the price is a month, which I'm like, are you trying to hide that from me so that I don't know? Like, I don't get it. I don't get why they do that. It would seem so simple to be like, you're on this subscription, which is this much a month, but I haven't been able to find that. If I'm just like losing my mind and can't find it, even though it's right in front of my eyes, please let me know. It's kind of weird. But anyway, I had to log out of my account to find out what these numbers were, like I was signing up for an account. That's how I had to find this information. I felt like there was no way for me to find it logged in, already subscribed, which I think is odd. Anyway, you can also do a three cent thing where you're picking out three cents a month for $37. So those are kind of base prices. It, you can find introductory offers and things like that. Um, but what you're probably paying every single month if you're actually getting it are those prices. And there can be additional costs. They recently started doing this. This is in my cons list, honestly, but they do have different perfumes that they add and tack on a premium price to. It's very clearly stated, which I do like. They've recently upped their whole website, which looks a lot sleeker and cleaner. So I really like that. It's a very easy to shop or like add to your queue type of thing. But some perfumes can add an additional $5, $10, and I've even seen $15 on there. But before I get ahead of myself, which I already have, let's talk about some of the pros and why I like Scentbird. Obviously, I pay for it. I'm so happy that Scentbird has upped their niche game and kind of the clean game and just some of the perfume brands I'm actually interested in. So they have Skylar on there. They have Commodity Fragrance. They have Heretic Parfums, which is a very expensive brand. And even if you wanted to get a small like travel size, or a smaller size, they're still like $65. So this is like a great way to try those brands out and a decent amount of product as well. They have Tiziana Terenzi. I recently, in my last month, got two different Tiziana Terenzi fragrances. Those are very pricey. They have Ulrich Lang. They have Floral Street, Room 1015. They have a Tot Leave d'Ange. 
that's so hard for me to say every time, but they just have a lot of uh, brands that I'm actually interested in. And these are like newer and for whatever reason, it doesn't make sense to my brain, but those are not the ones getting charged any type of premium prices. <laughs> You're not adding an additional $5, $10, $15 if you decide to put those in your queue. I mean, part of me is like, maybe don't make this video so they don't see like, what does that make sense? These are like the expensive ass perfumes. What are you doing? Uh, but anyway, I love the selection that they're curating now. I just feel like it's a bigger selection than ever. Um, I just feel like it's pretty easy. It's the most well known. Along with that selection, it does have some good designer perfumes if that's more what you're interested in. If you're trying to get the subscription to test out and see if you like it, that might be worth it, especially if you're not paying up for that designer perfume, which can get a little dicey depending on the charges and different things, like how much it's actually costing, but they do have a good selection. I really love how easy the queue is to manage and see what's coming and what months it is. And if you wanna move things up, you just drag and drop it. And other queues I've had literally don't, you can't like move it around. So then I have to like empty my whole queue, redo my queue, hate that shit, okay? So I really like how user-friendly it is, easy to use, that type of stuff. And I think Scentbird is best for people who want to maybe try some of those niche perfumes and like through this, or you're interested in kind of both. But I think more than anything, it's best for people who really like switching their perfumes up. Maybe you're not interested in buying full bottles of perfume. You don't like that. You never can stick to a scent that long. So getting these eight mil samples of perfumes is perfect for you. They're travel friendly, on the go. You put them in your purse. They talk about on Scentbird how it's a 30 day sample of perfume. So it should last you 30 days, like a whole month. And then you're ready for your new one. If that's how you want to use your perfumes, then it's probably really, really good for you actually, um, where you're fine paying $15 or $16 for eight mil of, I don't know, Chloe Nomad, even though I'm pretty sure if they sell Chloe Nomad, it's like way more expensive on there. But if you're never ever gonna wanna buy the full thing, you just wanna have like a season of that in your life, maybe that's what it's best for. But if you are someone who really loves a perfume and you're buying it through Scentbird, especially if it's one of those designer brands and it isn't as expensive, it's obviously not gonna be the best price for you. My example, I just brought up Chloe Nomad. This is going into cons also, so you know. But I believe on the website, they have it as one of their premium options for 15 additional dollars. So if you have the regular monthly subscription at $16.95 plus the additional 15 plus taxes, all that, you're essentially paying the same price as you would for the travel spray of that perfume, which I think is at $34. You know, it's the same thing, but you're on a subscription model, which means every single month you're getting charged those things. I just think make it work for you. If you don't care that that's what's happening, it's just easier to go through Scentbird. Maybe the convenience of that is worth it for you. Maybe the fact that you don't get the two extra mils in the eight mil, like you would in the travel spray, 10 mil, is better for you. I don't know. I don't know what you're trying to do, but just something to be wary of if you're really going for that value portion, which is definitely a big one for me when I'm trying to sample things. Like if I am like sniping out a perfume I wanna sample, I'm trying to find that sample at the best price that I can. And so sometimes with some of these options, that's just not it. They also had on their website, like Daisy Love was also like an additional $15. And I'm over here like, like Daisy fucking love that's just at, like what? <laughs> Okay, so again, another $30 eight mil decant of a perfume that it just shouldn't be that much. I think that's kind of a rip off personally. Also the fact that just in general, they have up prices. I mean, that's kind of just happening across the board in every everything we can ever imagine, right? But yeah, those are my two cons. Overall, I really do like Scentbird. Obviously, <laughs> I pay for it every month. I pay for the two. I thought I would share with you how things look and a few of the perfumes that I've gotten over the past little bit. Your first time you get the case and what's awesome about the kit, you can pop them out and that's your first order. It also comes with your perfume and it lets you know some stuff about it, which this I think is a really positive, especially if you're interested in kind of getting to know the notes and you wanna know a little bit about your perfume. This is one of the only subscription services to do this in the same model as Scentbird that I've come across anyway. And I really like it. I love that you can see a description of your scent notes and that type of stuff. I also use these usually to like spray when I get it and test it. So I like that aspect. Now, once you're like into the subscription past your first month, you're no longer gonna get a case every month. You just get sent the actual like vial and it comes in like a cardboard little tube like this. Just wanted to note that they have like different deals where you can add another one to your order for like $10. I do think it would be really nice, especially for the price for Scentbird just to offer the case with each one or like, 
you know, maybe a case every quarter or something so you can kind of build them up. But that's just something I've noticed that other brands do. So I have a lot of Scentbird perfumes. Obviously, like I said, I've been getting them for a while and I've been able to sample a lot of fun stuff. I've really enjoyed sampling the Rag & Bone perfumes from them. I feel like they're one of the only subscription places that has the Rag & Bone uh, perfume. So it's nice to be able to sample those. I got a The Harmonist sample. This one is in Royal Earth. Like I said, I've picked up some Heretic perfumes. So I have Dirty Grass, Dirty Coconut, Dirty Vanilla. Those were all sampled through Scentbird. And again, I feel like that was like the best price I could find it. I was really happy with that. Like I said, the Tiziana Terenzi, I got Kirk, I think that's how you say it. And I also got Spirito Fiorent. Tino. Mm, I don't know if you, I don't know if that's quite how you say it. That one is interesting. I really want to like it more than I do, but it has like Baccarat vibes, but it's also kind of andalic. This was so great to sample through Semperd. I'm telling you, you can definitely find some really great ones. And I'm like, again, shocked that they don't up that one, but they up Daisy Love. I'm like, what? That's crazy. I also really love that they have the uh, Room 1015. I've picked up a few of those ones. I really like that house in general. So um, yeah, I think it's been really fun. I really do like that subscription. It's pretty solid. And I feel like every single month they've been adding enough perfumes that I feel like it's worth it for me to actually say subscribed, which I really enjoy. So I hope I answered every Thing you could probably want to know about Scentbird. Um, I feel like, again, it's probably the most known subscription perfume one. If you like type into Google, it's always the top seven perfume subscriptions. And I'm like, yeah, because there's fucking like seven. <laughs> like there is like seven. <laughs> All right, I'm going to now get into Royalty Scents. This is another one that I was subscribed to for a while. I am not currently subscribed to them, but I did enjoy them while I had them. For pricing, Royalty Scents is $19.95 per month, or if you want to do two vials, which it's the same look as Scentbird, same vials, eight mils, same containers. You can do two for $36.95 a month. I was doing that for a little bit. I haven't been doing Royalty Scents in a while, but the reason I signed up initially with Royalty Scents was because they had Baccarat. So I was able to get an eight mil of Baccarat for $20, which blew my little dang mind. I wanted to try Baccarat so bad. I had already smelled it on my skin, but I wanted to have a vial of it and really test it out before I committed to a bottle. And I think that's another way that subscriptions or these eight mil decants can be a good value for you. If you're already interested in a perfume, you've already smelled it before. Sometimes that's the best ones to go in for the eight mil instead of like a small little sample size because you already know, okay, I want to be wearing this on my body. I want to give this multiple wears before I maybe drop to $300 on a bottle. So obviously Baccarat was a huge positive I don't believe they have that anymore. When I was searching on the site today, I didn't see them have Baccarat on there. So I don't think they sell that anymore, but they do overall have a more niche and expensive collection of perfumes for you to sample. They also don't do anything when it comes to premium or not, it's just flat. So anything they have to offer is going to be that set price. So that's kind of nice or could be bad. It just depends on what you want. I don't think getting a decant of Cloud from Ariana Grande for $20 is a good deal but they also offer Tom Ford and they have a lot of different Tom Ford perfumes and that is a good deal, you know? So um, it just depends on what you pick. I like to be aware of that, again, value and money, but you do you, just thought I would point it out. Some of the brands they have, Tom Ford, they have some Montal, Tiziana Terenzi, they have BDK, lots of just like, yeah, more niche or expensive perfume brands on there. I also found some discontinued scents on there when I was first like getting into this. Again, they're not there anymore. So when I first was looking at scents, Replica, because Soul of the Forest, I was able to get a decant of that and you know, this is no longer available and it wasn't available even when I got the decant, which was really nice. I feel like those are most of the pros. Um, I feel like some of the cons, it's definitely not gonna be as much of a selection as Scentbird, as in number of perfumes, but again, they're a way different selection than Scentbird. You know, it's just for different people and I don't know what you like. You might not be interested in niche or into those types of perfumes and if you're not, then, you know, I don't know if Royalty Scents would be worth the price for you. And like I said, I really used Royalty Scents in the beginning as like a scent bird to me, but for niche perfumes when I hadn't really smelled much and I didn't have access to smelling a lot of stuff. So some of the perfumes that I picked up from Royalty Scents, which a lot of these are no longer available on the site. So I, I don't think that they keep up with their selection very well or as good as I wish that they did. Like I wish some of these are still available on there. I have Le Labo Vini 44, which is a city exclusive. I do think they have some different Le Labo, but I didn't see the vanilla. I got 
Another 13 from Le Labo, Montal Intense Cafe, Killian Love Don't Be Shy, and a Pro. They always add the, the cases. So when you get these, I got the two for a while. Um, every single month, both of them came with a case. So that is nice. I think that's a nice little luxury moment um, and kind of goes with that upcharge price. I think that's nice. And they're all different, different colors. <laughs> this one's like textured, um, but Love Don't Be Shy, that was a really nice one to be able to try. Again, I didn't see that one on the site. Like I said, Baccarat Rouge, my first taste really of it. Love that. Killian Black Phantom, Killian Good Girl Gone Bad. Lots of like more niche expensive perfume. So I really did enjoy the time. It was just not a long-term subscription for me because once I had tried those out and there weren't perfumes that I was super interested in trying, like I didn't want to go blind smelling eight mil decants. You know, I, I was not interested in doing that because I am paying obviously more money for them. Like I wouldn't be blind buying travel size perfumes either. So um, once I had kind of tried everything I was interested in, I kind of backed off the service, but I do think overall it's been a good experience when I've had it. And now I want to get into the other one that I have the most experience with, but this is the most different. And then I'm going to jump back to more of the subscription normal services, I think. I don't want that to be confusing, but I really wanted to talk about this sooner rather than later because Olfactive is one of my favorite scent subscription boxes. And also I find it to be the most unique out of everything here. And I think it's perfect for the person who wants to explore and discover new niche perfumes. Things with Scentbird or any of these eight mil decants, you know, you're getting a decent amount of perfume and they're gonna have to charge you obviously accordingly to get that amount of perfume. Like I get it as a business, all the things. But something that I was really hungry for is like, I just wanna get my nose on things. I just wanna smell new things. And I don't necessarily want eight mils. Like I'm fine with two mil of whatever it is. I just wanna smell it. I just wanna be introduced to new things, have my nose awaken. Like I was into that. And the only subscription box that I have found that does that really well is Olfactive. In full transparency, I initially signed up for this on my own completely, but then Danielle, who is the owner, reached out to me. So I do have a coupon code. It is not monetarily affiliated. I believe it still works if you're interested, but I just wanted to like lay that out there. I'm not like getting paid any money to do this. I pay every single month for my Olfactive box and I love paying for it. I love this service because it's exactly what I described to you where I get to sample and try out niche perfumes, which specifically that's what I want. If you're not into niche, <laughs> it might be a bit of an experience for you, okay? <laughs> Even more so because you're really trying some unique fragrances and I really just, I really love it. So pricing really fast before I get into everything. They do a women's bundle of three and a men's bundle of three every single month that is curated specifically for that month. It usually has a theme and that will retail $20 if you just do the three samples. I do the deluxe, which is both samples. So you get the men's fragrances from that month and the women's fragrances from that month. And that is 30 dollars I believe that includes shipping and everything too like that's the charge and I choose to get the men and the women's because usually in niche you know the line between what's masculine and what isn't sometimes isn't super it's a little blurred and I tend to like masculine perfumes and all that as well so I really have enjoyed it I've been getting this subscription for at least half a year now and I love it so so much so it comes like this every single month this is what it looks like it's a very small package and in it you get some paperwork kind of <laughs> that lets you know about like the theme of the month. You get a satchel of some papers also for each perfume and kind of info on them. And then you have your samples in here and they are two mil samples that they have made and decanted. They're labeled really nicely. They're very clean looking. And I really love how big these two mil samples are because not all brands, two mil samples I've learned are the same, <laughs> but I really love it. The sprayers are great. Like it's a lot of product I feel like to actually get to test the perfume. You could easily get, I feel like, well, depending on how many perfume sprays you get, but I feel like three, four, wears out of each of the vials at least. That's like spraying a lot, I feel like. Anyway, I love that they do a themed bundle. So for June, the whole theme of the box is love is love. So it was talking about Pride Month, which I really love. And then it tells you about all the different perfumes they picked and kind of why they picked them for this month, which I think is awesome. I've noticed also with Olfactive that depending on the brands that they carry on their website, they do tend to put new releases into the monthly boxes that kind of correlate with that launch, which I find amazing. I've really enjoyed that. That's happened a couple of 
of times. And so inside that black satchel, what you get are these little square perfumes, which this is part of the education type part that I really enjoy exploring. And this will let you know about what the perfume is, what house it comes from, the keynotes, and it gives you a story about it as well. And then on the back here, you can circle if you love it, if you are on the fence, if you wanna pass it on, give some thoughts. And then there's also a little spray here. So you don't need to have testing strips and all that stuff at home. It already comes, like it comes as a full thing. And I love that. I just think the attention to detail is there and I think it's like amazing. Like I love it. I've been able to sample some really great niche perfumes from there and I have even bought some full bottles. Another kind of pro or just like benefit of being subscribed, if you're subscribed to the service, you get 10% off whatever they sell on their site. They have different perfume brands on there and bottles. And then for the perfumes that are featured in that month's box, you can get 20% off of those perfumes. So that is something too. And I really like that you can just sample and if you are swayed enough to get a bottle, you can save some money on it as well. This is definitely my favorite subscription, I would say. I just find it so fun and I love that I'm not burdened by these huge perfumes. I feel like it's a reasonable price and it's really fun to try out some of these harder to find perfumes. Now cons, if you don't like niche, <laughs> it might not be for you. If you really like more designer or really, really sweet stuff only or like only fruity stuff or you're very specific about wanting those things, you don't wanna be in like kind of the discovery aspect, maybe this wouldn't be right for you um, because I have gotten some amazing scents, things that I've bought in full bottles of. I sampled Leith from Ulrich Lang through this service and I bought the bottle of that. I bought a bottle of Midnight Rider from Blue Hill Fragrances. I've sampled some really beautiful smoky like woody vanillas like some really great stuff but I've also had things that I literally have to lock into its own container it's in a bag inside a box because it's so potent and it smells like what I call burnt hot dog skin so you know it's it runs the gamut I think it's a really fun experience if you want to do it with other people that's always fun and I love like sampling the box with Sam and just kind of talking and having conversation I think it could be a really fun thing to do with friends even monthly like I just love it I think it's an amazing subscription and I feel like it's so unique and exactly what I wanted so I love that I think it's so so fun and I almost wish that there was a similar service to this but with you know designer tons of perfumes maybe people could pick them or they curate them and they could even make it a little bit cheaper if it weren't niche because those bottles are just so expensive but if they weren't making them so expensive I think that it's just like would be an amazing thing like Scentbird to do that but they curate something monthly for you to pick out I think that would be amazing um, and I wish more subscriptions like that existed Existed. So there I am raving about Olfactive, but honestly, it's my probably favorite one here, especially for the discovery aspect. Okay, back to some more normal scent boxes. Now we're getting into basically clones of scent birds slash royalty scents, but they just offer different selections or maybe have different pricing on how they do monthly slash what they call premium or platinum or whatever. So next on the list is luxury scent box. I was only subscribed to luxury scent box for a couple of months not too much. It's $15.95 a month for one tube or one sample. I don't know what we want to call it. And then they have different options as you go along that are uh, $5 additional if they're premium, if they're ultra premium uh, perfumes, which they clearly note these when you look at the site, that will be an additional $10. So it's kind of like they do this base thing and then plus plus you add things on as you go. So of the pros, I feel like Luxury Scentbox does have a decent selection of some of the more niche and expensive perfumes. And it does seem to be different than, you know, royalty scents. Some of the options, they have Amouage, they have Initio. Um, I believe that I got my Delina perfume from Luxury Scentbox. It was one of the only places at the time that had it. I also got my Initio Oud for Greatness from Luxury Scent Box, but these were considered premium or ultra premium perfume. So I did have to pay that additional $10. So my like perfume sample of them turned out to be $25 per thing. Now for Initio Oud for Greatness, that's a very popular one and $25 isn't too bad. And when I'm thinking of where you could get different decants for that price, whatever, it's not too bad to pay that price for it. You just wanna make sure that's gonna work for you because there are other things that are deemed ultra premium or premium and you're gonna want to do those calculations I guess but overall a decent selection and I think specifically it's best for if you're trying to snipe a specific 
sample of something to go on there, find that exact thing you've been wanting and grab that decant. That's probably the best way to get the most bang for your buck. Some of the cons that I put on here, most of the products that they have are the premium and the ultra premium. So almost every single time you're gonna be adding that $5 or $10 charge to whatever you're picking out, unless you're picking out pretty well-known designer stuff or whatnot. So I kind of just, I don't know, I think it just hurts to like add additional $5, add additional $10. Whereas with Royalty Scent, something I like is it's just flat and they just offer whatever's there. And I wish some of the more luxury ones just kind of built that into the price. Even if the price was $20 for anything, which is more expensive than what it actually is now, I'd almost rather that because it doesn't feel like I'm being upcharged constantly, you know? But maybe that's just a mental thing, I don't know. But yeah, I kind of just wish they upped the price. So that's Luxury Scent Box. Again, nothing too big of a deal. Like it's not that big of a deal. I forgot really fast, but I want to mention that one of the cons for Royalty Scent is the fact that the queue is pretty fucked in that it's hard to add things to the queue and get rid of things in the queue. You can't move things around really seamlessly. And I really hated that about that. So just wanted to point that out. Technically it's not the biggest deal, but it's pretty inconvenient. Okay, next we're going to talk about Scent Box. Yes, this is a different one. Scent Box is priced at $15.95 a month. Then they have their premium subscription subscription, which is $20.95 a month. And then they have their platinum subscription, which is $29.95 a month. And I believe when you're on the site, you can see which ones are platinum and which ones are premium. And this one, again, you're really going to want to know how much things cost and get your best bang for your buck, especially if you're going to pay the platinum, which is almost $30. Some of the platinums I think maybe aren't worth it, but some are. They had some pretty good brands on there. They had Baccarat on there. So if you want to find a sample, uh, like a decant of Baccarat, it was on a uh, scent box the only one I think I saw it on they have Creed and Bond number no. nine and Initio some of those really expensive brands and they also had Clive Christian which I didn't see Clive Christian on any of the other ones and if you don't know Clive Christian is crazy expensive $750 what very very expensive at the old beauty store I worked at we sold that brand <laughs> And I remember being like, I can't sell this guys. What am I supposed, you want me to sell a 700? Like I can't fathom this. This is my weekly paycheck. Like what are you talking about? Anyway, if you're looking for those perfumes, it might be a really great deal to try Scentbox out. Again, really once we're getting into the nitty gritty of these ones, you're just trying to find the perfumes you actually want to sample in an eight mil. That's what I feel like you're going to get the value out of. But for cons, I just feel like honestly, it's kind of expensive for the selection. All the things that aren't, in the premium or platinum categories tend to be really cheap perfumes, things like Juicy Couture and that type of stuff, which don't get me wrong, I have Juicy Couture in my collection. I'm not against it. I'm just saying I don't wanna pay $16 for an eight mil of a Juicy Couture perfume personally. Like that's not worth it to me. So you just wanna make sure price-wise things are lining up for you. But if you're trying to go for that Clive Christian, $30 for an eight mil of that might be perfect for you. Uh, because I don't even know if they do travel sizes and a lot of brands when they are really expensive, even their travel stuff might be only selling in sets of three and it's still hundreds of dollars. Like it's still a lot of money. Last one in this normal scent subscription fucking thing. Okay, Scent Magic. This one I was only subscribed to for a little bit. I I think I picked up a Santal Blanc and I also picked up Creed's Virgin Island Water. I think those are the only two I like even got from this subscription box. But the pricing on this, it's $14.95 per month. Some of the pros that I wrote down, they don't upcharge for premium or expensive perfume. So that's just the price that they have. I feel like their selection maybe wasn't the best, but if you can find some things on there, $15 for a sample of like Creed Virgin Island water, that's a really great price, I feel like. So I said it's good if you can find a specific perfume, again, sniping out the ones that you like. It might also be a good one if you're looking for really older scents because yes, I found a Creed in there. Um, they might have, I think they had some Montal, but they also had a lot of older celebrity scents, like discontinued ones. So like Taylor Swift Enchanted, they had Katy Perry Purr and the Kitty one. They had some of those. It depends. If you just want to have that like in a decant, maybe maybe that's worth it to you because you can't find those as easily. But I feel like if you're gonna spend $15, depending on where you're looking, you might be able to find those other places. But that brings us into cons. I did feel like a lot of their selection, an overwhelming majority of their selection was older perfumes, things that you can find at Ross and discount stores and things like that. And so you just have to do the math yourself on what is worth it for you. $15 a month for a sample of like Nicki Minaj Pink Friday, that's an eight mil. Whereas I got the 1.7 ounce of Pink Friday at Ross for I think 
$12.99 or like under $15 or around the same price, you know, why not get the full bottle? I love bottles anyway. Like, I don't know. I think that you just have to make that decision for yourself. Maybe you're fine with that. Maybe you just like those scents and you don't want to have the full bottle. I don't know, but that's something just to consider. It's a lot of older stuff, older celebrity perfumes, just older perfumes in general and things I feel like you can find discounted already. So it might be worth it to you to just get a bottle, you know, like, price-wise, it just might be worth it. So those are the subscription boxes like that. Okay, I wanted to shout out Max Aroma really fast because Max Aroma also sell the decants of eight mil perfumes. And I think this could be a good option for you. I don't believe they do a subscription option, but if you're just wanting this type of size, and like a decant like this from a specific perfume. They have tons of stuff on their website and you don't have to buy into the subscription model, which you might not wanna do. You might not want to pay every single month and forget to cancel, blah, blah, blah. Maybe you just wanna buy the one perfume. They're a little bit more expensive, but they also have a lot of like expensive perfumes. So I feel like it's not too bad over there. And I uh, just wanted to shout that out in case that was something you were interested in, especially if you don't wanna be signed up to pay every single month. You just want a decant of one thing, one time, buy right then, be done. That might be a good option for you. One of the subscription services that I think is kind of interesting and a little bit different than the ones I've mentioned so far is from Skylar. This is a brand specific uh, scent club. They call it the Skylar Scent Club. I am subscribed to that currently. I have five different ones of these perfumes and basically Skylar, if you don't know, it's like a clean brand. Um, they're cruelty free and they create like custom scents, like limited scents, uh, basically things that aren't available in their full-size perfumes for their scent club. And then I have seen some of those scents get turned into actual perfumes later on if I think they're pretty popular. But it's kind of a fun one, especially if you're looking specifically for something clean, specifically for something cruelty-free. And if you really love Skylar's kind of DNA and what they do, this might be a good one for you. It's $20 a month and that's shipped and everything, which isn't too bad. Maybe it's 21 actually what charges, but I feel like it's a decent price. You get a travel roller ball. That's kind of a con. Who wants a rollerball? Not many people, but that's what they fucking do. But I have gotten Emerald Rain from them, which is very clean and watery. I have Matcha Zen, which I was really excited for because it said it had like a marshmallow note with the matcha, which is there, but it's still kind of like watery, shampoo-y. My most recent scent, which came, is the Papaya Paradise. I really liked this one for something tropical, actually. And it's kind of perfect because it's not a lot of it, you know? It's just the travel size because that's not something I would maybe want a full bottle of but really fruity, like fruity, fruity cocktail. I have Gilded Woods and I also have Citrus Grove. So these are the ones that I have. Again, I pay for this. I do get sent Skylar uh, PR sometimes, but this is something that I've been paying for. This is definitely a personal one. If you really like Skylar, you wanna buy into the brand, you wanna like be a connoisseur of Skylar specifically, maybe it's a good one for you, but it is one brand and I kinda like the option of other ones. So I just wanted to try this out because I, I liked how unique it was. I thought it was cool that they did this as a brand if you wanted to try other scents from them and I liked that they had different scents they were coming out with, especially again, if you really liked their style or were interested in their clean perfumes. So, um, um, there's the Skylar Scent Club. And I think, my God, the last thing I wanna talk about really fast here is Scent Split specifically, but really you can find decants. It's not a subscription service, but I just wanna mention that you can buy decants of stuff on different websites. The only one I've ever done is Scent Split and I will never buy again. <laughs> I bought a lot of stuff. I think I spent the first time I bought from them and the only time, um, I think I spent over $100. And this is what the samples look like. I bought all of them in the two mill because I wanted it to be a spray and when these came I was very disappointed because this is the two mil from olfactive that they send and this is the two mil that I paid for um, and these were not cheap decants you know I don't know maybe it's just an illusion and this actually has the same amount of product but I don't believe so because the spring is in here just as much as it is in this one and it's a shorter bottle so I'm like is this actually two mil a product I'm, I'm questioning it. They weren't even filled all the way to the brim. Like, 
it was not worth the money, I feel like. So I just wanna say, maybe don't buy from them. I don't think it's worth it. I'd rather buy decants from Mercari, Twisted Lily, Olfactive has some, I don't know, go in store and make them spray you stuff and <laughs> take it that way. If you go into any of the scent bar locations, you can get like little dabber style ones. They always let you, even if you don't buy anything, I think you can get two samples. Like there are other ways to find samples, especially this small, um, that I feel like you aren't paying that much for, my gosh. So I think I'm gonna end it here. I hope this video was helpful, maybe helped you navigate which scent subscription service might be best for you. Again, like I said, I'll try to answer some questions in the comments if I miss something. I really tried price-wise to like let you guys know what I think is good. My top ones, if you're looking for discovery and just fun and you're not looking to buy perfumes that you're gonna wear on yourself a ton, olfactive all the way. And you like niche, olfactive all the way. If you wanna test out perfumes and you don't wanna have a ton of bottles and you're gonna actually go through them, I would pick Scentbird overall. I feel like they're pretty decent, especially if you're more into designer or more popular perfumes they have a lot of stuff on there and I think it can be a really good option if you're looking for more niche stuff basically any of the other ones will be fine I think it more depends on what niche perfume specifically you're trying to try if you want Tom Ford maybe one will be better than the other and just look into the options that they have before you sign up I feel like pricing is all similar you know what I mean? If you're really getting some of the most premium stuff, you're probably paying $25 to $30 for that. Or on Scentbird, you might be paying that price for Chloe Nomad, I don't know. <laughs> or Daisy Love. But anyway, I'm gonna end it here. Hope this was helpful. I think it was in depth. I like made all these notes. So I, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you wanna see like my Scentbird collection <laughs> or something, um, because I have so many of them. Anyway, I'm gonna end it here. And other than that, I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.